Hey folks, John from Complete Technology Solutions, your friend in the computer business. What is this gigantic box of goodies in front of me? So, uh, I, this is a very interesting story, guys. So, we were out, to, uh, my daughter and I like to go out to thrift stores and stuff on the weekends because you never know what you're going to find in some of these things. And uh, down here, they had a, a store called the Texas Thrift Store. Pretty neat, right? Pretty cool. Uh, we went in there and they had what they called their electronics blowout. And you were buying a box of stuff. So I picked up this box. Hang tight. Let's see what's in it. I, uh, I can't wait. Here we go. So what we got here, uh, they were blowing these boxes out for $40. All right. So all you could do is look on top of it. You had to buy it. So you kind of kind of take a risk there. Well, I'm hoping that uh, Stumpy here is picking up because the first thing that I saw when I looked at this box was the edge of an old Commodore 64. Now, you guys know how I feel about these. I'm going to verify that Stumpy's seeing this, and he is. Uh, we had an HP laptop on here, and this looks like some sort of a Sony DVD player along with a bunch of controllers. That's all I could see was the top of this box. Let's take a look at what is actually in here, shall we? All right, I'm going to move this box over. Let me tell you, it's heavy, by the way. All right, so let's take out the obvious. Let's pull out the first thing, which looks like an old HP laptop. Uh, looks like we've got uh, yeah, no indicators. Might be a... No indicators at all. I know it's a pavilion. I've seen this model before, but I'm not sure which one it is. And I'm feeling some flex here. Oh, yeah, look here. You guys probably notice this. Uh, you see all the flex in this board? This thing has been dropped real hard on this corner. Um, I don't know if there's a power supply in there yet, but you can see there's a lot of movement. So yeah, look at that popping loose on there. So we'll have to take a look at that and see what's up with that. But it's a laptop, so we shall see. You guys know the drill, by the way. Um, if we take this laptop out and it's dead or doesn't work, it ends up in the, uh, in the graveyard back here. And by the way, you guys may have noticed I added a whole lot to it on this side, including a really cool dual processor server from the early 2000s. So that one's pretty neat. All right, what, oh, wait a minute. Look at this, guys. All right, I'm going to save that because that's pretty cool. Uh, yes, this looks like a Sony portable DVD player. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. So that, uh, that might be a good thing. All right. Look at this, a PS2. And it looks like it's complete. Except I don't see the, the uh, AV cable. Oh, actually, I think I might see the AV cable in there. All right, so we got a PS2 in kind of rough condition. But uh, then again, it was in the box, so we'll take a look at it. All right, PS2. Go figure. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Another PS2. This is one of those little flat versions. And boy, I tell you, I don't know if Stumpy's going to pick this up here. Look how dirty that thing is. Yeah, this has definitely been through some stuff here. But it is another PS2. They must have had a, uh, a little run on PS2s, huh? Oh, no way. Would you believe it? Another PS2. Holy cow. Now, that one is in significantly better shape, as, uh, at least visually. It's in a whole lot better shape. So hopefully that won't be too hard to play with. What else we got in here? Will it never end? Another PS2. So what is that, four? Four PS2s in this box. Guys, once again, this was a $40 box, and I'm not even started here. I don't even know what the heck's in there. I see one thing that... <laughs> Hold on a minute. All right. Another PS2, and that one's in pretty decent shape, too. So we got four PS2s, a laptop, and we got a DVD player. And look at this, guys. Oh, my gosh. An original Xbox. And it looks like it's in pretty decent shape. Uh, one thing is, I know that a lot of these, when they were, when they were new, well, new-ish, the uh, DVD drives would start going out on them, and people would literally, and if Stumpy can pick this up, they would literally pry on that corner right there to open up the DVD drive. So, yeah, I don't know about that, but we'll have to check that condition. Either way, it's still a, an Xbox. That's pretty cool. All right, so this is the Commodore that we saw. Oh, she looks pretty rough. All right. Oh, yeah, that looks, oh, and it's open. Here. Uh, so the outside of it, as you guys can probably tell, it's, uh, it's pretty rough. The case is broken open. Although it looks like the clips are there. Let me see if we can look in here and get an idea of what we're looking at here. Oh, yeah, the clips are there. And the original heat shield is still there. Interesting. So what I'm curious about 
is if this one works. I mean, it looks complete. Uh, yeah. So it's ugly on the outside, but it does have the original heat shield, which means it probably hadn't been fiddled with much. All right. Well, that'll be one that we get to play with. You guys know how much I love these Commodore 64s. Yeah, and I definitely like to... Uh, I've been known to mod one or two of them, so we'll see what we can do. All right, well, we'll put that up here real quick. We'll get back to that in a second. Uh, we've got a controller. This is a PlayStation controller. My guess is one of those. We've got a whole box of controllers here, guys. Hold on. Let's see. One controller. We've got another PlayStation controller, same model. All right. It looks like we've got a big green something controller. Not sure what that is. That uh, has some sort of a memory card thing up front here. Let's see what this is. Uh, the connection on the end, if we should ever get to it. Oh, this looks like the original Xbox controller. Yeah, that was one of the controllers for the Xbox, so that's kind of nice. We got one for the Xbox. And this looks like another PlayStation controller. Yes, it is, so that's three. And this looks like a wireless controller also. Um, that's a wireless afterglow. It's got a sync on it, so this might be to sync to the PlayStation also, but we'll have to see. Yeah, the batteries don't look like they're rotted yet, so that's good news. All right. No. Guys, look at this. Bottom of the box. Another Commodore 64. Not even joking. Holy cow. And this one is in physically much better shape. Yeah, in fact, this one looks good. It's missing one button up here, the one. And it says, a piece of tape on it says, uh, power on, uh, no video through AV. Okay. So, they were getting no video on this. So, uh, we may actually do a diagnosis and troubleshoot that, but that's two Commodore 64s. Holy cow. You guys aren't going to believe this. Another Commodore 64. That's three Commodore 64s in this box. There's no more in there, thank goodness. Oh my gosh. And this one looks also pretty... Oh, this one's also open. Let's see what this looks like here. Hold on. Let me clear this off just a little bit here so we can take a peek at it. And it looks like this one also has the heat shield on it. This one has had some bodge wires added, and it looks like, well, it smells like smoke. Like it's been in a house where someone was smoking, like cigarettes. Um, it looks like this might actually be a later revision of the board. Uh, hopefully Stumpy is getting that. We're going to take a look at it and see. But one thing I'm seeing right off the bat is the clips are broken that close the case up. So that may be a problem. This may be a donor uh, for a future project or maybe one of these other two. Who knows? Or maybe we can get two of them working and use this as a donor for both of them. Yeah, we may check that out. Wow. Okay. Uh, we have got a crate of miscellaneous cables. That's uh, some sort of miscellaneous power supply. Looks like that is a power brick uh, for PlayStation 2. All right, so we've got one of the power bricks for the PlayStation 2 here. And I thought... I guess I'm wrong. No, I, the bottom one does have a power supply also, so this must be for another one. Let me pull this up here and see what the end looks like. And actually, it looks like a standard plug, so that's, that's kind of interesting. All right, well, that must be what that is. Another power... <laughs> Jeez. Tell you, you never know what you find when you go to these things, do you? It, uh, we love this store, but I've never seen anything quite like this before. You better believe I'm going to be frequenting there now. Okay, got that one. This looks like an AV cable, and it is... Oh, this is like a multi-AV cable. Check that out, guys. That's for multiple different sources. That's pretty cool. Yeah, no kidding. On that side, you got AV, and you've got uh, what looks like S-Video. So that's probably some sort of an aftermarket cable. If you guys know anything different about that, let me know, but uh, that's pretty neat come in handy right there okay so looks like we've got another multi av cable yep same one now this one seems to be a lot heavier duty energizer so yeah that's what this is this is an aftermarket cable for probably i know that's an xbox connection i i recognize that 
The other one I do not recognize. Uh, actually, look at that. That is that fits the. This fits both PlayStation and Xbox. Go figure. All right. Going on down in here, we've got another AV cable. Now this is a straight up Xbox right here, I believe. Yes, it is. Oh, gotta love this, guys. Look, somebody braided the end. <laughs> All right. So we got one Xbox, but we appear to have uh, at least three cable. Well, one specific cable, but that's three AV cables, and it looks like we've got a some sort of control cable. Now, I have no idea what this one is for, guys. Uh, the ends on this look the same on both ends. It looks like one of the joystick connections in the front, but it's male to male. No, no, it isn't. It's male to female. That's an extension. Okay to extend the joysticks further away. So I guess this was uh, in lieu of going out and buying yourself a, uh, a wireless joystick, you just uh, get yourself an extension. That way you can sit across the room. Yeah, if I ever did that, I'd have people tripping over it every 15 seconds. I can guarantee it. But yeah, all right. So we got that cable in there. And what else we got in this little box? Looks like we've got yet another AV cable. Now this one looks very, this one looks specifically like a PlayStation cable. So, guys, it looks like, based on what I'm seeing here, we've got every cable for every one of these. So, power and AV for each one of the systems. That's pretty cool. Now, I'm not going to, on this video, get into testing any of this stuff for obvious reasons. It's uh, <laughs> a lot of stuff. But uh, I have a feeling this is going to keep me busy for a while, I'll tell you. And we've got two of the standard. Okay, now these are the ones like, um, I know for the big PlayStations, they just use these regular old generic plugs. So we've got two of these and there's one plugged into it. So there must have been other PlayStations at one time or another that use these plugs that were in that box. So we'll hold on to those. These actually come in handy. There's a lot of uh, different computer components and uh, uh, v video, uh, like these things. They use that kind of thing. So we'll hold on to those. Never know when you're going to need them. That's one thing I always figured out is about the time you throw away a cable, that's when you're going to find what it goes to. So, and that's it. Holy cow, guys. Let me rearrange this for a second. Hang tight. All right, guys. So I'm going to give you a rundown of this table here. I'm holding stumpy, so uh, I'm going to go nice and slow for you. But as you can see, we got our four PlayStation 2s here. These are untested. I have no idea. In fact, none of this is tested yet. We'll get to that later. We've got our, uh, looks like our portable DVD player. We've got our laptop in eh, questionable miscellaneous condition. We'll see. Three Commodore 64s. Score! Frankly, I would have been perfectly happy if the only thing in this box had been those three Commodore 64s. That's pretty cool. Over here, we've got ourselves that original Xbox in what looks like decent but dirty condition. One controller. And we've got three PlayStation controllers here along with the PlayStation controller that's wrapped up on this bottom one. So we've got four PlayStation controllers and all of the AV cables. Yeah, man. That's what a score, right? All of this in one box. Reminder, $40. You cannot go wrong with that. I couldn't believe it. And like I said, I just saw this and I saw one PlayStation on top. That's all I saw. And when I saw that, I thought, okay, must have, right? Must, must, must have. So, pretty cool. All right, well, let me get you all situated here. So, there it is, guys. What is the lesson I've learned from this? Well, the first thing is dig deep. Whenever we go to these thrift stores, you know, a lot of times they'll have little sections that we don't ever go into very often. Um, I'm going in there from now on, man. I am going to spelunk under the tables because this is crazy. These could have been sitting at that thrift store for the last 10 years and nobody knew about them. Um, and frankly, I don't even care if they work. I'm going to probably, my guess is, mosh together two of them out of one of them for parts. Um, and then, of course, the parts board ends up back here. So it's going to be with me forever anyways. In fact, if you guys will remember when we did the Vic Berry, the Vic Berry is still sitting right there. So that'll be with me forever. It's never going anywhere. That's kind of the way. I, I, I get attached to these old Commodores. I really do. Um we will probably be doing uh, something with the Commodore here coming up very, very soon. I got a couple of plans. I just need a little bit of time. So hopefully we'll get that squared away. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Look at this. I know what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of days. What are you doing? 
We cannot wait to see you on the next video. Coming sooner rather than later, I promise. We are doing another Facebook scroll item, uh, testing out something that uh, I've always wanted to try. I've seen them all the time, but I've never done it, so keep your eye out for that one. Have a great week, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.